I'm really excited about today. It's the first architecture-focused build event that we've done, and we've done it here at the Royal Institute of British Architects. It's been a wonderful day and amazing speakers. This is a real networking opportunity for us, uh, talking with architects that are used of using 3D, used of using Unreal, uh, virtual reality into their daily uh, design process. You're going to see stories from your own industries from architecture and architectural visualization, some from construction, but you're also gonna see them from other industries too. And we think that seeing what's going on in other industries outside of your own can really help influence you. And seeing those collaborations come together is really what our team is all about. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on that is very relevant. The real-time ray tracing is amazing. Yeah, seeing the, the, uh, how the automotive guys are like pioneering in the uh, real-time ray tracing uh, technology, that's gonna help bring a lot of people from other sides of the visualization industry into um, real-time to get the same fidelity. I think we, we've noticed now that the industry has really matured I mean, over the last two, three years, I think it's really come to a point where we have serious tools, a toolkit for, for our discipline. So these being 60,000 square meters, we wondered if we could actually put, put the 60,000 square meters completely into Unreal, all while still keeping the performance and, 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 and being able to have a manageable file, right? Sharing the same space together and looking at the same things at the same time is obviously been a limitation of uh, head mounted displays uh, um, since since they've been around and hopefully this is going to help to overcome that. How's, how's oh. the weather in New York? It's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Perfect weather today. Uh, you know, it was an incredible opportunity to network with a lot of people who are also pioneering, you know, uh, in their field. A lot of them overlap with what we're doing, so it's very, very exciting. But in the infrastructure world, the real thing was more about the workflow, so you know, pushing things from straight from Revit straight into Unreal and then being able to do the real time uh, and pushing that workflow and making that even quicker was I think uh, one of the real benefits I saw. It's amazing. Uh, all these new new tools that uh, Epic is making public that it's, are facilitating our workflow, right? Being able to import metadata, being able to import all these new, these new formats and simplify our process. It's just, it makes our lives uh, a, a lot easier. The tools that Unreal has just branches out to different possibilities so it's you know you get that excited feeling when you're um, seeing these new features coming up. It's great to see Unreal um, and what's kind of what's coming forward. It's gonna save time, it's gonna work fast, we got, we'll be able to save on the baking, on the light baking which at the moment takes I don't know 30 to 40 percent of our time in terms of production so I mean it's amazing tool. I'm pleased to see how companies are getting together, thinking together, brainstorming how to tackle challenges they're having today to create uh, successful uh, construction companies of tomorrow. I think the real benefit of real-time working is uh, for us to be able to truly visualize and truly experience scenes as we are designing them and really believe and um, trust in the spaces that we're putting together.